all right that's that's enough of that we ain't showing no more of those clips that is so embarrassing do you know how embarrassing it is to be a man new fan at the moment we actually just cannot catch a break losing to flipping arsenal who loses to arsenal man I swear, don't show any more of those pictures again. Otherwise, I will literally do what Granit Xhaka did to Diogo Jota in that game against Liverpool. I actually give up at this point. I can't be arsed anymore. It seems like we're losing every game. I actually give up, man. We lost 9-0 on aggregate to Liverpool. 9-0. Do you even know how shambolic you have to be to lose 9-0 on aggregate to a team like this has to definitely be some kind of record how are you flopping twice and losing 9-0 fam i just don't get it but on a serious note clearly there are problems i'm gonna start off with the most recent game that we played obviously against arsenal losing 3-1 and what happened was just shocking oh bruno hand the ball to me yeah because you know i would smack it in you know it, bro. No, actually, no, fam. Cristiano, I'm taking the pen, fam. Bon, you, I'm taking it. And I'm doing the hopping style that I do. Because I can do it. No, Bruno, don't do it, please. Just hand the ball over. I scored in the last game. I beg hand the ball over. Do you know what? Bon it. Just take it. I swear if you miss, though, you're getting rushed in the changing room. So I'm watch. Kick. Looks on as a bystander. Fuck's sake, Bruno. I told you, man. I told you. Hand the Do you know what the mad thing is as well, though? Had this been the full-time whistle straight away after that, you already know Ronaldo would be definitely running on, chasing Bruno throughout the streets of London, fam. It would be a full-on rushing at this point. You just see the whole of the man you scored just rushing Bruno. I swear that's Ralph and them, man. Come. To be honest, I still don't know to this day why Bruno decided to take the ball of Ronaldo and take the pen. I just don't know why he did that. And you know what pisses me off the most? The fact that he did that hop, skip, jump Henry, man, is so annoying. Even Jorginho even done that in the game with Chelsea and he fluffed his lines with five minutes to go. Just don't do the penalty. Just run up and whack it or something else, man. Anything but that. Do the Paul Pogba pen if you have to. I mean, he does take approximately 10 billion light years to even move his right foot in order to take the first step in that penalty. But still anything but that Bruno pen. I mean, is he a long jump or what at this point, my God? And to make matters even worse, the first goal we conceded put two one-year-olds at the back and they would do better than Varane and uh, Telus there. Because if you see the clip, what are they doing? But do you know what I blame? I don't blame Bruno. I don't blame... Um... Ralph Rennick, the tactics. I don't blame the two at the back. I blame the grass on the pitch because you see the grass was too long. How are we meant to be playing on a gra on the surface that has the grass the length up to my kneecap? And the grass was too long. Yeah, you could say it was too long for both teams, but then okay, then I'll come to you with the option. How about the wind? The wind that's a fair option. I mean, maybe when Bruno was jumping, yeah. The velocity of the wind speed affected his jump so that he would jump a bit higher and he would carry more pace into his shot in turn, sacrificing his accuracy. Yeah, I can't, I'm just waffling. But still, no, I don't blame the wind or the grass. I blame the players, the absolute shambles, get them out. We need a whole new reform under Eric Ten Hag, which is why I'm, I'm actually so excited for Ten Hag to come in, by the way. When he got announced, I was really happy with it because I see this as a new era for Manchester United Football Club. I see this as maybe, maybe this is the one thing that Manchester United need to just have that little, like, just boost in our club that we haven't had for so long. And I, okay, I was, um, I only became a money fan back in, like, when Moyes, I think, was just coming in. So I have never known Manu to be like a, glorified like team well not glorified glory team like winning loads of trophies so i've never known that and i want to feel that because obviously people are gonna say and rightly they can say yeah manchester united we are just a history club and i can see why they're saying that because if you look at our stats we haven't won a trophy for five years it's going to be six years maybe next year well you don't even know about next year i can't say i hopefully we win trophies though which brings me on to the board though and yes, they have done some great deals, uh, particularly this year with the whole Ronaldo, getting Ronaldo in, 
uh, Rafael Varane as well, even though that hasn't really worked out that well. Uh, Jaden Sancho was a good deal, which they should have done a year ago before, but we won't mention that. But yeah, they have done some good deals. It's just the fact that, ugh, it's just, I don't know, they appointed Solskjaer, right? And then he was kind of a puppet on strings to them. He just followed every move, which is why we're in the position we're in right now. He didn't go against the right thing. He went with what the board says. Like when they appointed Darren Fletcher as the, um, what is he, the technical director or so, I think so. He's one. He's one of the directors. Yeah, these guys are just. They're just yes men to the board, and and ultimately is why we're in this position. Too many players getting favoritism, starting in the starting eleven that really shouldn't have started. Um, remember, guys, did you see the interview on Sky Sports where Maguire was like a couple of days ago before we played Liverpool and got absolutely smashed? He said. Oh, we well, must be doing something right if two managers have both picked me in the starting eleven. Bro, shut up. You're not even good, mate. You're frauding a living at Man U. How you cost 80 million is beyond me. But, yeah, it's just decisions like that. Like, why is he still in the starting eleven? Clearly, the board still has some majority over um, uh, Ralph Ranick because Maguire is still getting in that starting eleven. I'm so glad... Uh, he's out for the rest of the season, I think, because it just saves us, I think. I, I just want Fred back, though, to be honest, because Fred does give us that more cap capable side. I know a lot of people diss him, but I actually kind of like him in our team. But yeah, uh, now I'm going to go on to a new bit of my video. Let's take a look at it. So, guys, I've literally got a tier list of um my players that I think should go so we've got four tier lists here never mind the rest we've got best players young stars bench player and get out so obviously get out being the worst our best players being the best starting off with david de Gea. first of all we are going to choose him as number one we're going to add him to best players he has saved us countless times this season i don't know where we'd be without this guy number two dean henderson now he is our backup keeper and i definitely think we should keep him but because of De Gea starting, he's going to go on bench player. Not because he's not good, just because he's not going to start. Um, number three, Victor Lindelof. Now, I would put him on get out, but for the lack of quality we have in our centre back, so I might put him on. I might put him on. I'll put him on bench player for this time, actually. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bay will put also. On bench player, a lot of these guys are going to go on bench player. Phil Jones, no, get out, Phil Jones. It's the pink boots. It's the bloody pink boots. Get him out. He's so bad, Phil Jones, on my days. Uh, Maguire, once again, get out. I don't need to say this guy's a donkey on. This guy's has a, he's, he's a portable fridge. He's a portable fridge, not a donkey. He's a portable fridge that can barely move. Rafael Varane. I mean, you could say it's been a flop signing because he's been injured like 99.999% of the time he's been in the club. But because of the quality he does bring, um, I would say best players because he has the quality to be our best uh, centre-back. Well, he is our best centre-back. He's our best defender. So I was, yeah, probably put him in best players even though it hasn't really worked out for him this year. Diogo Dallo, um... Actually, do you know what? I might change young stars to, um, I might change young stars to start in eleven because I feel like that's more accurate. Dallo, start in eleven, yeah, definitely. Sure, start in eleven again because those two are actually decent players. Alex Tellers, no, one is I think he's twenty nine or thirty, and he's not really good enough. He's not good enough. Wan Bissaka. Bench player, I just don't rate him anymore, to be honest. I think that hype is long gone from him. Paul Pogba needs it. And you know what? I, I like Paul Pogba as well. It's a shame. I love Paul Pogba. He's, on his day, he's one of the best enemies in the world. But he just has to leave, man. It's just not worked out for him. He's done nothing for our club. I mean, no, there have been key moments. I can't deny it. There have been key moments where he beat, he carried us to beat Man C. He won us the Europa League with one of his goals. He has been decent in those games, but other than that, he's really been nowhere. 
Jesse Lingard, another player, needs to leave. He's done nothing, to be honest, since the FA Cup final in 2016. Fred, um, starting 11 right now, only because we don't really have a better midfielder than him. And people are going, yeah, I can see, already see in the comments, people say, what, Fred, best midfielder, best central defensive midfielder. I'm not counting Paul Pogba because he does not do anything. Fred has been better than Paul Pogba this season, I would say. For the games Fred has played, he has been better. So we're going to put Fred in starting 11. Bruno Fernandes, I know he's got the quality. It's been a really poor year from Fernandes. I'm going to put him in best players because he has the quality to be our best players. Uh, Scott McTominay, bench player. Um, I don't think we need to sell him. It's just a fact that he would be a good backup option. Let's say that Ronaldo, best player, there's... No, then I really should make a new tier called Goat where I put the hair Ronaldo in, but yeah. Let's do that. Ronaldo definitely bench uh best player. Let's see. So we only got a couple a uh, few more left. Rashford. Oh uh, Marcus, what has happened? Meek Mills has come back. Free school Mills merchant, oh my days. He's been shocking this season. Absolutely atrocious. I would I'm not gonna put him on get out because I'm not one of those type of people, if you have one bad season, to say, oh, get out of my club. You've been rubbish the whole time you've been here. No, I'm not that type of guy. I'm going to put him starting 11 because I know Rashford does really have the quality to turn this around. Hopefully next season will be in the season. Hannibal, a uh, bench player for now, but he's going to be one of our like new stars, youth prodigies uh, in the future. Edison Cavani, this man is a fraud. Do you know, I, I didn't even realise this guy was still at our club until I, I I saw it on an Instagram post where it was like, so something like, did, uh, it was like fun fact, did you guys realise Cavani is still at my new? And I just deeped it as well. I didn't even realise this guy was still in our team. I thought he left on a free or sign in the summer. This guy's been useless. Get out of our club, mate. He's done barely anything for us. Jaden Sancho. Um, starting eleven, I would put him on best player, but he hasn't really done anything this season. He's got, he's got, he's another young talent that we're gonna keep, like Elanga. Uh, starting eleven or bench player? I mean, if we put Rashford on starting eleven, actually, I might go ahead and put Rashford on bench player, and put Elanga on starting eleven. Elanga has been way better than Rashford this season. Put yeah, we'll put Elanga on starting eleven. Short tire, he hasn't played that much this season. We'll put him on bench player because he hasn't really played that much. So there is my tier list for um this video to wrap up the video of what I think should be done. Actually, I really should make one for my new board. Do you know what? I might do that as a video idea in the next one. But guys, if you have enjoyed this Manchester United video, make sure to smash like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let me know in the comments what team you want me to do next because... I'll do a team. I'm down to do another team. I should do more videos like this. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.